Today I have for you another video of me reacting to transphobic people because that's what I do on this channel. So the name of the channel is Press for Truth and this guy makes pretty controversial videos on certain topics. He likes to speak a lot about the LGBT community. Someone sent me his video and now he's fucked. Thank you Esther for sending me that video by the way. Love you. So in this beautiful nine minute video, he talks about this transgender summer camp and how it is basically toxic. So I'm gonna roll the clip right now. This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. I can't be PC about this anymore. I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it. Come on, Dan Dix. Gonna hate gay people with that last name. <laughs> the LGBTQ plus plus add your letter community has been royally pissing me off. You've won, guys. You're here, you're queer, and everyone got used to it. Nobody cares anymore. That is a lie, because take a look at all this. I don't have any advice for homosexuals except to put a bullet in your own head so that you don't molest my kids or anyone else's kids. They are probably the closest things to the Ku Klux Klan in the modern political era. Look at you! You're so scared right now. Please walk away. Please walk away. Oh, I'm so scared of a fucking lesbian. I'm so scared. But people don't care about the LGBT community and what they do. They don't, they don't really care. It's not a big deal anymore. You can pretty much do whatever you want. You can even get married at this point. That's why only 28 countries out of the whole 195 are able to get married same sex. And if I could do the math real quick, that's probably about 15% of the whole world. Thank God for same-sex marriage, you know? Everyone's able to do it. But when you bring children into the picture, I have a serious problem with what you're doing. And your irresponsible, dangerous enabling ways will be exposed for the wickedness that it is. The wickedness that it is. I can't believe we're gonna get exposed today. You guys wanna know something else that's wicked? Wicked awesome. I just wanna take one minute of your time to thank Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Dollar Shave Club is a monthly subscription package where they have a bunch of stuff ranging from shaving needs, shower care, oral care, deodorant, and even butt wipes. Not only are their products very good and a great price for only $5 if you use my code, but they also support people like you and me, because if they didn't, then I wouldn't be doing this video right now. So if you're wondering, Sam, what am I gonna get if I order this monthly subscription box for $5, like you're telling me to right now? So if you do sign up with Dollar Shave Club, you are going to get their starter kit. It comes with a weighted handle and four replacement cartridges so you can shave whatever you need to shave, some shave butter to shave your face, this two-in-one face and body wash, and this two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there. My favorite product of theirs is the shave butter. So if you really need to shave or freshen yourself up, I suggest getting the starter box. It is $5. The link to buy that will be in my description so you can check that out. Let me know if you grab a box and let's get on with the video. Now I'm gonna warn you, the following clip is difficult to watch, but try to get through it. It's important to understand what we're dealing with here and just how bad things have gotten. At Rainbow Day Camp, kids sing silly songs, play ball, make art, and do wacky relay races. But what makes this summer program unique is the campers it serves. Transgender children, some as young as four years old. Oh my god, that is, that is the hardest thing that I've ever watched. Sandra Collins, a former college professor, started the program two years ago after she struggled to find a camp where her transgender daughter Scarlett would feel comfortable. That is my aunt, actually. No, I'm just kidding. Why the fuck did you fall for that? Don't be so gullible next time. Okay, so that to him is a horrible, difficult, disgusting thing to watch. What I see is nothing bad happening. If these children are saying, Hey mom, like, I'm a boy, I feel like a boy. And they're showing many signs of being transgender. Let the kids wear different clothes and cut their hair. Are they doing anything permanent? No. I don't see the harm in doing that because if I was five and I had a voice and I was able to do that, I would have been able to have a great childhood and live the way that I felt most comfortable. This is child abuse. And these people have demonstrated that they're not even fit to be pet owners, yet alone parents who are looking after children. Child abuse. Child abuse. So just to let you know, listening to your kid, the one who said it in the first place, and letting them do what they want and be comfortable is child abuse. Some change their names or pronouns daily to see what feels right. 
So a child as young as four years old can decide to be gender fluid. If you as an adult cater to this and encourage this kind of behavior, well, I can only hope and pray that God has mercy on your soul. God have mercy on your soul if you let your child live comfortably. I hope that you don't go to the fiery hell that all the transgenders and homos go to. But you see, this is where they've crossed a line because these children are being psychologically abused and we as a society cannot continue to just look the other way. Psychologically abused, come on. Would it also be considered psychological abuse if you forced your child to be uncomfortable? A lot of these kids have been bullied and had trauma at school. This is a world where none of that exists. Well, you know what? The world is a tough and scary place. And the more cozy little safe spaces that you nerf these kids into, the more ill-equipped and unprepared these kids are going to be when dealing with this thing we all call the real world. Trust me, transgender people go through way more than you think that they do. Just gonna say this, being murdered isn't the real world. Being discriminated against isn't the real world. If they don't want to be murdered, I think that they deserve a safe space to be themselves. I would go as far to say trans people get harassed every single day. I get comments every single day about how I'm disgusting, I'm going to hell, or whatever, some shit like that. Even if I wasn't on a public platform, I would still get stuff spewed at me from other people that I know because they don't like transgender people. We can take bullying, trust me, we just don't want to. They just said you should help the child socially transition until they're old enough to make the medical decision on whether or not to take puberty blockers. So pre-puberty, these people think that these children are old enough to decide whether or not they should go through puberty. How is this not child abuse? Okay, so I do disagree and agree with this because if I was a kid, I would have loved that. I knew it that I was transgender. I don't know the word for it, but I knew that I was a boy. And I would have loved to take puberty blockers. It just would have been a lot better for me. That is a very hard decision for a young child to make. You know, sometimes people are confused and it does happen. It just depends on the person and the parents. But for me personally, I would have loved to have that. Many counselors are transgender, which offers campers upbeat role models. This is not a role model. This is a mentally unstable individual. And all these parents are doing is creating a safe space echo chamber so they can cater to their child's delusion. Just because someone has a mental illness doesn't mean that they are unstable. I'm not unstable, but I am very cool and not unstable. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say anymore. This has gotten so far out of hand, and it needs to stop. Click the like. No, fuck you. I'm gonna click the dislike button. Still blows my mind how these type of people exist. I don't know how their mind works, because they claim that they go by facts and logic, but it's a lot of feelings in it. These guys get very worked up emotionally. Yeah, anyways, if you guys do want to check out Dollar Shave Club stuff, the link will be in my description. They have great stuff. Again, if you want it, it is only... $5. My uploading schedule is weird. I'm kind of doing once a week now. I'm just testing it out to see how it is. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you think about that. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Peace.